you're not seeing the market, what it's doing, the speed of AI. So many people are afraid of what's going to happen with yeah. their jobs, with the way AI is growing. AI is, oh my God, I'm going to lose my job and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And Elon Musk is giving a speech in front of his investors and saying, hey, we believe the robot business is going to be XYZ and we're going to be 10% of the robot business. We think Tesla is going to build 10 to 20% of all the robots worldwide. And we think the price point for it's going to be around twenty dollars to $30,000. And we believe most of you are going to own a robot. And that's going to add another trillion dollars of top line revenue to our company. What's he doing? So you can listen to him and say, Elon, come on, man. What a freaking sale. Get out of here. I'm not going to have a robot in my house. I'm sorry. You already do. You don't know it. But this is a legitimate robot. Do you think I'm going to own a robot? Yes. What do you call that? He's either delusional. He's either on LSD. He's either a visionary living in a future truth. And you and I get to listen to him and say, I don't believe him and be one of those five camps. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So in business world today, one of the most valuable currencies in business is fear. And that is very high today. Fear sharp is listening. Fear causes people to want to sit down with you. Fear causes people to make that one hour that they typically wouldn't do for you when the economic expansion was at 128 months because they're making a lot of money. Today, people are afraid. If you have a good presentation, good product, you actually have a good reputation, you're providing results for people. This may be the best time to be in business in the exactly. last 40, 50 years. Easy. And the way things are moving, some of the folks, the way they apply some of these technologies, and somebody may be watching the same, well, Pat, I ain't got a lot of money in the bank. Man, I only got $20,000 in the bank, $50,000 in the bank, $10,000 in the bank. I can't go out there and do something like this. Make one of two choices. Either be the number one person that takes the pressure, like the two of you guys, go be the founder, mm -hmm. or two, find somebody that's willing to take the pressure, come and bring support, come and bring value, be a leader for them, help them get to the next level, and you'll be somebody. But the one thing you can't do nowadays is sit on the sidelines. A lot of opportunities will be missed for people.